Do you know there's a better way to apply hair color? Even if you've been coloring for years, follow this simple root and refresh application technique to unlock game-changing, gorgeous color. Before you start, complete your patch test, wear the gloves, mix the product, and review timing according to the instructions in the box. The preparation and application is the same, whether you use a cream or liquid product. We're using Nice and Easy for this application, a permanent hair color known for its natural looking shades. We'll show you how to color with this unique multi-angle video. Wear an old t-shirt or a towel around your shoulders to protect your skin from staining. Apply a thin layer of petroleum jelly or moisturizer around the hairline. Make sure to avoid the strands. Brush, part, and separate your hair into two sections using clips or hair ties. Starting at your natural part line, squeeze the color mixture onto the root, focusing on the new growth. Gently blend in the product. You just want the uncolored root area to get color. Take a half inch section of hair using a tail comb or the tip of the bottle. Squeeze the color onto the roots working from the front to the back of your head. Gently rub the color into the roots. As you color your roots, guide the tip all the way down to the nape of the neck. That way you have a head start on the back of the head. Continue to take small sections until you've covered the front. Apply the color to the hairline and temples on that section.
Now, color the other side of the part line, making small half-inch slices and focusing on the uncolored root. Move from the front hairline to the nape of your neck, squeezing the bottle and applying an even amount of color to the part line. Complete this section by applying to the hairline and temple. Stay relaxed, focus on the technique, and don't worry if it feels uncomfortable. You're going to look amazing at the end. Now let's focus on the back of the head. Loosely divide the hair in half. Starting at the top of the ears, use the bottle to make horizontal sections along the back while squeezing the mixture directly onto the roots. Repeat, going lower each time. Think of the back as a tic-tac-toe board. You have already drawn the vertical lines when you colored your roots. Now, create the horizontal lines. Color one side of the back, then the other. You don't need to lift the hair while you apply. When the back is finished, gently rub the product into the roots with your fingertips. Avoid getting the color beyond the roots. After applying to the roots, there should be about a quarter to a third of the mixture left in the bottle. Keep it, you'll need it later. At this point, most of your hair should be dry except for the roots. For nice and easy, leave the color mixture on the roots for 20 minutes. If you have resistant grays, you can add another 10 minutes but don't leave it on for more than 30 minutes. Now let's refresh the rest by applying the remaining color mixture to the rest of the hair. Use your fingers to smooth and spread the color you've already applied at the roots. Take the color from the bottle and apply it to the uncolored lengths. Pull from crown to ends to fully saturate. Pro tip, you can also use a wide tooth comb to help.
Clip the colored hair up and let develop for an additional five minutes, but no longer. After processing, fully lather the hair while rinsing. When water rinse is clear, the color is removed. Apply a quarter size amount of conditioner. Leave on for two minutes. Rinse. Now enjoy your new hair color with tons of dimension.